All right, now we are gonna run through this problem, but remember, what I want you to do is I want you to take some notes as to what things you got right, if you made some mistakes, what was that mistake, so that you can help yourself remember exactly uh, things that you wanna change in the future, because we're just practicing right now. All right, so I said we had 10 grams of material, that's M, C is not 4.184 because it's not water, it's iron. So iron, I came down here and used 0 0.450 joules per gram degree Celsius. And then you remember here, I have to put in the final temperature, always final temperature minus the initial temperature. I think they were heating it up to this temperature, so that's the final, and this was the initial. And when I plug all that in, I remember I do the subtraction first and then multiply the three together, I get 6,808, we could even say 0.5 joules of energy. It's quite a bit of energy that it takes to lift the temperature of these nails from 25 degrees Celsius to over 1500 degrees Celsius. So did you get it right? Well, if you didn't, don't worry about it, but I want you to write in your notes on your, on your Google Slides um, what did you notice that I did differently than you did? And if I made a mistake here, I want you to point that out and say what you saw. All right, now here's our second problem. So our second problem has to do with aluminum. So I went out and got the best picture I could figure, uh, find of aluminum. It could be aluminum foil too, you know, like you use in the kitchen. That would be fine too. But since it's uh, aluminum, I got to make sure that we have aluminum in our table, and we do. And it says, what would be the change in temperature if you heated a 200 gram sample of aluminum with 300 or 3,000 joules of heat energy? So this is practice number two. I want you to go and do this in your uh, Google Slides and then come back and we will see the answer.